All right, so the shop is a total disaster. But we were live streaming the other night and uh, somebody wanted to see more motor content. And at the moment, I don't know that I have any uh, stored or already recorded, but I will definitely look. And if I do, then after this video, y'all see some track stuff, but don't get too worked up. It's not a whole lot. It's just us out there messing around and riding a little bit. But uh, I realized I haven't shown the bikes for, I guess, 2024, uh, summer, season, whatever. You know, I like we like to get new bikes uh, every once in a while. And so we'll start with, this is my 16 that's been on the channel. This was that bike that was red with number five. I got tired of running somebody else's stuff. So in the middle, I put my uh, black and teal 38 set back on and uh i'll get to that bike in a second but this is uh landon's new bike we went and picked it up i want to say two weeks ago now a week ago i can't remember uh, i think last weekend possibly it's a 2018 yz250f uh it was absolutely filthy when we went and got it i'll show y'all some videos of me washing it and stuff a time lapse and before and after but so it's it's got some you know you, you buy a bike used and so you're gonna have to expect problems and it's got like some stuff here and there that we want that landon wants to change um uh new plastics i think we're gonna polish the frame out uh he wants to get rid of that red chain and different bars these are some flex bars it was set up for trail ride he already took the uh, hand guards off of it but I think he wants to get rid of these, so we'll just have those, I guess, on the wall or ready to be put on something else some other time. Uh, I can't remember if I said it or not, but it's got a full FMF 4.1. Brand new rear tire, got the blue Excel rims. It's got the whole blue bling kit on it, all, on both sides. First we thought it was a slip-on exhaust, but uh... It's a, yeah, I can't, I think it's a power bomb. It might be a mega bomb, I don't know. But, um, so that, I guess, have build is still to come. But this is my 16 that's already on the channel. I went with Omega Graphics. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful person that i that i had installed them kind of screwed up in a few places but i think we can work that out i forgot a lot of uh logos and a lot of stickers i mean uh i just forgot a lot of logos i got my trailer sales on there but don't don't worry i didn't forget the only fans logo uh they have a nike logo in them I didn't really want that, but that's probably just because I overlooked something on the website. But they're um, glitter and holographic based and obviously red. But in the sunlight, it looks amazing. I uh, put a new Kenda back tire on it. Uh, I went new chain sprockets. I've added this aluminum rear brake caliper guard. And I put this Geico hits and clutch cover on it just because you don't see a lot of those anymore. And uh, I finally found one on eBay. You might be able to find a lot of them, but I couldn't find any of them for uh, 2016. I got to put my other radiator guard on. I fell off while I was putting the graphics on, and I didn't, I mean, the plastics back on. I didn't realize it. But um, yeah, I know not everybody's interested in a toy hauler or trailer content so i'm gonna see what i can dig up as far as motocross content and um you know hopefully people will like that a little bit better so unfortunately um in january or february i think it was on january 20th i sold this bike that was on my birthday i went and I, I traded it for a dirt cart and a few days later he put it back on facebook and um so i went and bought it back uh yeah i went and bought it back for less than what i originally paid for it we went and met the dude uh it was like an hour away i think we got there at nine we either got there at eight or nine p.m 
and then uh, I'll tail back to the house. And so thankfully, I was fortunate enough to be able to get this bike back. The, C the 2015 that I got last year, the Atlanta's been riding is obviously gone. And uh, so, but I think this one's here to stay a while. If I do get another bike, I'll just have to buy one because this bike is what I've been looking for. And like I said, whenever I got my first 2015, um, I've always loved this generation Honda. I think these are the best looking generation just because of the plastic design and the shape of everything. And uh, back when Braden Price was cool, I got that. I fell in love with how whenever he got that 450, I love the way they look. I was like, yep, gotta have one of them. But, um, so just like this bike, it's obviously needs work, but it's a nice bike, it looks good. But it, it needs some TLC. It looks a lot better than my first 2015 did before I got this one. I'll put a picture of that in now. I don't know what all I have recently shown on the trailer. I think we're all caught up to date on the toy hauler slash race trailer. I really want to get rid of this freaking mattress top right here for the uh, rear, for the garage bed. It's kind of a pain in the butt. But I think I showed it off. I think, I'm, yeah, I made a video on these. I put new lights in it. And uh, that's about it. I got the generator running. Nothing different up here at all. These are just regular lights. I'm going to put, anyways, I'm going to put, put either red or blue bulbs in those uh, just because I like red lights and I like blue lights. Um, I'm going to polish all this out. So I might end up making a mistake. I haven't talked to anybody about it. So I don't know what's going to happen with it and they don't make them anymore i'm not sure that forest river still makes the work and play haulers but they're really hard to come by and i finally found the exact model well it's not the exact model but i saw this model I was like dang that'd be pretty cool to have you know potentially one day and i found one in uh well the son of a bitch won't load I found one in Johnson City, Tennessee, which is almost a Bristol. Um, the only thing about it is we would have to take the pier built to go and get it. Um, I mean, my truck would pull it without a doubt. I just don't want to my truck to be on the road for 10 hours. Uh, I'm, I know for a fact it could do it. It's done it many a times, even further. But... That was probably 18 years ago that it was doing all that. And uh, so this person right here, this is it. It's a, it's a, it's a toy hauler camper made by Forest River, as is this toy hauler. But um, I don't, I'm sure the GoPro won't focus on it, but there's the inside of it. Again, there's the inside stainless fridge all that this is all factory and um this is not the model that i had in mind but i have always seen this model on youtube and stuff i was like dang you know one day it would be pretty cool to have something like that and um there's a garage right there there's a full bathroom and uh like i said it'd be cool to have one one day but I never saw myself having one. I was like, well, I really don't want to get rid of my new toy hauler because one, we hadn't even got to use it yet. And two, we've already, uh, or I've already got it set up to uh, what I wanted it to be. Um, and I was like, whatever. So I, I sent them an offer of this trailer right here and cash on their end. And for some reason they said, yes, they could do that. To just let them know well see i really wasn't expecting them to uh for one accept the fact that they had to add cash and two i wasn't expecting them to even want to trade um they have a really low price on that trailer which is why i said i would have to have a little bit of cash on their end i mean 
I don't know. I've got another toy hauler coming in tomorrow, apparently. Apparently, some old boy is bringing one. And if he shows up, then I'll have another one. If he doesn't show up, cool. I won't have to worry about it. But I'm trying to find pictures of it right now. Oh, look. Lawn tractor. Oh, heck yeah. Spirit of 76 Cup Cadet Lawn Mower. I, I got this specific toy haul toy hauler to go and travel around Mississippi and ride not necessarily race man I just want to be good at riding like I used to be I ain't got a race to be happy I just want to be able to ride good and make YouTube videos of riding good but um so this toy hauler this old boy is supposedly bringing me uh like I said, if he shows up, then whatever, cool. I got another one, and if he doesn't, then whatever, cool. It's a it's a weekend warrior. Um, so this trailer's 31 feet long. The white enclosed trailer that I used to have, <clears throat> it's on this channel, uh, was 32 feet long, and we took it to the track here in town. But uh, so, yeah. You know, if this one turns out to be good, I'll probably post it for sale, which is the plan anyway, and use it while, you know, until it sells as far as an around town rig. Because these Weekend Warriors, in case you didn't know, they're open floor plan. Um, they still got a kitchen and all that, like the Weekend Warriors. Uh, the kitchen would be right here, and then the bedroom would be up there. And the master bedroom would be up there and then over here would be the stove the refrigerator and then from the stove and refrigerator back is all open open floor space so like imagine if all of this was just open with just walls on each side and all of this wasn't here that's a weekend warrior but they've got couches on each side just like this one has them in the garage but they have those on each side and then a master up front that's a weekend warrior pretty much and uh you know some of them some of the weekend warriors, you uh, they they have setups like this right here, um, but I, I I don't think you can. I think they went out of business in 08. They originated in Cali for the sand cars for the dunes and all that, so that's why they're all open floor plans. Um, but like I said, I never, I've always wanted one, but I never saw myself getting one. Kind of like that Forest River, but yeah, we got a bird living in here. And that Walmart sack right there. And she's about to get evicted, bro. She's crapping all over the Look at the floor. All that bird crap everywhere, man. All over my helmet. Lana's helmet. Can't be having that. Look at this. That's all coming from up there. That's where she's coming in and out at. Uh, but yeah, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, part of me, you know, I've always wanted to... Uh, you know that's this that's why i've got this right here because i've always wanted to buy and sell trailers and i've been kind of doing it like half halfway but not really you know i don't keep a stock or anything i have one at a time that i sell it i haven't posted that one for sale yet but i know for a fact as soon as i do it will sell and then i won't have one and then i'll be hunting for another one for however long it took me to find that one so that's why i haven't sold it yet because it will sell they don't make that model anymore and it's a it's a sought after model because it's half ton towable and it's super super clean and it's it's set up like everybody wants it to be so that's why i haven't listed that one yet and whenever i do i will put a high price on it but here's this little taco mini bike that one of our cousins bought a farm in tennessee or a ranch type farm and uh, this was in one of the barns. It's a taco mini bike from 1961 era. There's the rear wheel, aluminum sp al split aluminum rims. I had the rear wheel off. I got the rear axle freed up and all that. So I'm gonna buy a period correct flathead engine for it. And that'll be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, I'm, I am looking for an enclosed race trailer if i get this weekend warrior tomorrow i will uh either one use that until it sells as a race trailer or i will just trade it for a race trailer either one 
I don't mind. But uh, once it gets here, you know, we're going to clean it up. We're going to detail it and all that, fix whatever it needs. But apparently it's coming from a dealer in Oklahoma. He's staying in Nashville tonight, and he'll be here tomorrow afternoon. Dude, this trailer was covered in all kinds of weird critters from Louisiana. Like all the spiders on it and stuff. I don't know if you can see that spider nest. Oh, it's spider nest. That spider web. This thing is covered in all kinds of crazy looking little arachnids. And I gotta, I gotta rewash it. This is all moss that was growing on it. So I don't know how it's gotten dirty just sitting here. Like, look at all the spider webs on it. And we don't have nothing like this around here. But, uh, that was pretty much the scoop on everything. If you guys are new to the channel, we got a little over 15,000 views in the last week, which is crazy for my channel anyway and i can't be more thankful for it a lot of subscribers i think we got a little over 20 subscribers last week or week before so uh, i couldn't be more appreciative than that we're almost to a thousand subs that'd be pretty cool we'll have to do something special i guess dang she got a nest full up in there anyways we're going inside i guess i'll edit this video we do live stream every night or every other night gaming videos on this channel i know i should probably shouldn't do it on this channel but um here we are shop's mess maybe one day i'll clean it up i think i'll say this too but all of this stuff over here came out of the race trailer so up until i get another race trailer that stuff will sit right there um yeah i guess i'm gonna go inside i've felt like crap the past i guess all weekend long I had a box of 30 nuggets and a large fry from Chick-fil-A Friday night, and I haven't been the same since. And I'm um, hoping that maybe, maybe it's just a bad thing. One, I, like, no joke, one of them nuggets tasted kind of bad. Like, you know, I should probably spit this out, but I ate it anyway. I like my dog in the trailer. And, uh, there he is. But I ate it anyway, and... I have not been the same since. I've been drinking a lot of water. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say. So, thanks guys for the videos, or for the views and all that on the videos. And, uh, the subs and the likes, they help actually a lot more than, you know, the average viewer can understand. It does a lot for the channel. It does a lot for morale. That's people, let's see, uh, uploader or me know that people care as you can see here we have a a dog sunbathing on a hot afternoon day you ready on the side <laughs> 